way too long since I've done a video blog and I'm very excited to be back. More importantly, very excited to be talking to you today about a topic that comes off, up often um, with my clients, amongst friends, amongst family is cravings, food cravings and what the heck to do about them. So I've compiled a little list of uh, some foods that I want to talk to you about. So let's get to it. Uh, first, we have, we're going to try to uh, satisfy all the sorts of cravings out there. Um, and No, no, not like that. We're going to try to satisfy all sorts of food cravings um, out there in terms of uh, satiating our, our taste buds in different ways um, and the, the different senses that we um, sometimes want to have, whether it's sour, sweet, crunchy, salty, what have you. So we're going to address them. You're going to have them. Write these down. You're good to go. Cravings will be met. Okay, first and foremost, we have the feeling of comfort. How often do we crave comfort food? Often, a bowl of comfort is found in some sort of carb, usually a highly refined, highly processed carb of sorts. Today, I want to tell you that you can find comfort and uh, satisfy your cravings in oatmeal, uh, or I, sh I should say actually in oats, which um, more often than not, for me, get turned into a bowl of piping hot oatmeal. Now, oats are incredible in terms of their calming. Um, they help to lower our cortisol levels, which are, are um indicators that we're, we're stressed. Um, so oats are extremely comforting and are brilliant uh, as a bowl of oatmeal, um, warm, soft, add whatever um, fruit of your choice. For me, it's I like to warm up some blueberries in there, a little bit of cinnamon and some maple syrup. Really, comfort in a bowl, meet your craving for comfort. Next we have when you crave something sweet, and I'm not talking about, you know, a desire for some crazy dessert or anything like that. I'm talking about when, you know, you know that urge you get sometimes after a meal where you're like, oh, I just need to finish this off with something sweet. I know lots of people are like that, including myself. So what I tend to turn to are um, these lovely gems, which are medjool dates. Oh my goodness. These luscious plump uh, fruits are loaded with wholesome um, natural sugars. So yeah, you're going to get your sweet tooth satisfied right here for your craving, but you're also going to be packing it with trace minerals. Um, it's rich in iron. How amazing is that? There's calcium, there's fiber. So not only are we satisfying our sweet craving, but we're also satisfying our body's need for our nutrients, for fiber, and for wholesome goodness. So these are really just yummy to just snack on. Um, I'd say two. Two is a perfect satisfaction for your sweet tooth. And yeah, just enjoy them. They're so soft. They're so luscious. They're perfect for that sweet craving. Okay, so are you craving energy? Always, at some point in the day, there's that lull. That little lull, no matter how healthy you are, our body does go through um, certain rhythms within the day that we feel a little bit more tired and we might need a little pick-me-up. First and foremost, actually, before I tell you about the craving, um, satisfying the craving for energy and telling you what it is, I'm saying maybe opt for uh, a glass of water, a nice purified filtered water before you reach for something to uh, sustain you energy-wise, you might actually just be dehydrated. But if you're doing good and you're drinking fluids throughout the day and you still feel like a little bit of a slump coming, cacao to the rescue. Cacao is chocolate in its purest form. These are cacao nibs. Otherwise, these have um, an inherent sweetness to them as well as a little bit of bitterness. It's kind of similar to a... Um, a coffee bean, but still that hint of chocolate. So this is highly energizing, um, a natural stimulant, let's say. So do, please, if you're craving something energizing, do not reach for uh, Red Bull or you know any of those uh, power drinks, and instead reach for a beautiful handful of cacao nibs. Okay, how many of you? Sorry, I just shook the table here. How many of you? 
crave something juicy. You know, just that your mouth is feeling a little parched, but you're not thirsty. You just need something to, I don't know, liven it all up. I am a big fan of the grapefruit. Uh, this beautiful, beautiful citrus specimen is delicious. Morning, afternoon, before meal, throughout the day, at any point really I can crave a grapefruit and there's just something about how loaded with juice it is also at the same time that it's sweet and sour. It, it, it meets all those, uh, all those cravings actually in one but if you're craving something juicy, grapefruit is excellent, loaded with vitamins, so particularly at this time of year uh, for those living in cold climates when you're feeling deprived of whether it's the sun or warmth or something comforting and you get that all in the grapefruit and it's yeah just loaded with vitamin c and so yeah grapefruit is great for that okay crunchy crunchy is one of those i don't know from the earliest ages as a kid there's something that you like that crunch factor in food and people tend to reach for when they're craving for crunchy they tend to reach for chips Chips are just, they're empty calories, really. Yeah, you know, um, you may be able to grab a bag here or there of a low-fat variety, low-sodium variety, what have you. But at the end of the day, they're just a generic, um, you know, poor-quality potato. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate on the potatoes. There's some good, you know, more heirloom varieties of potatoes out there. But let's be real here. The, the potato chip bags that you usually find for your uh, satisfying your crunchy craving are not the healthiest. However, I recently stumbled across this company that I love, 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 Danielle. Um, Danielle makes amazing veggie chips. Here I have the sweet potato variety. Um, I've tried her pumpkin. She has a slew of others. You can check out the website or you can just look for chips like this. So look for those companies that use root vegetables, um, maybe a arrangement of them, whether it's uh, beets, sweet potatoes, some taro, um, you know, a combination of different root veggies that have been maybe lightly fried or baked, um, not oily, overly oily or anything like that, but they'll satisfy that crunch and you'll get that craving met. Usually with that crunchy craving comes a salt craving and the food system out there and all these packaged processed foods are loaded, loaded, loaded with sodium, but it's such poor quality salt that it's depleting to our body. It's it it's an anti-nutrient. It takes away um, from from the the healthy processing of our body when we're eating throughout the day. That salt is is not good. That white table salt or the salt that they use in packaged food is not good. However, salt is actually needed by the body. It's required by the body, obviously, in its um, mineral form, sodium. Um, but salts from the earth are divine. There's so many amazing, high-quality salts out there that in small amounts, so yeah, don't get, you know, I'm sad if I'm recommending a high-quality salt because I get it. It is more expensive than a white table salt. However, a little bit goes a long way. I'm telling you, it's like it's potent, powerful stuff. So if you're craving salt, have something like this on hand. This is um, pink salt, Himalayan pink salt. My favorite salt by far to use. The flavor is unreal. It enhances so many dishes with such a small amount. Your body gets that sodium that it needs, that needs for proper... Um, uh, pumping proper uh, arterial use in terms of um, healthy nerve impulses. I'm not going to get too physiological or technical here. All I have to say is our body does require salt. So just make sure it's good quality. Um, pink salt's divine. So if you're having a salt craving, sprinkle this a little bit. You know, there's no salt on these. You want to sprinkle a little bit in there. Meet the crunch. Meet the salt. Combined craving gone satisfied done okay we're on to the last two which um are the craving of creaminess how often do you crave something creamy and it's usually probably ice cream now um if you're gonna get a good quality ice cream go for it absolutely don't deprive yourself have a little bit it's all good but if you're craving something creamy but you also want um something more uh, wholesome I say yogurt is a better way to go so associate something creamy with yogurt and uh, 
you're good to go. So I, um, I don't eat cow's dairy. Uh, it's, I don't digest it well. Lots of people don't. Um, but I'm one of those people who are very open to alternative forms of dairy. Uh, I like sheep's milk dairy. I like goat's milk dairy as well, but I actually don't like goat milk as a yogurt. I find it a little too tangy. Sheep's milk yogurt, on the other hand, is creamy satisfaction. So um, I opt for this. It's Ontario sheep milk, wherever you're from. Check out your uh, local health food store or grocer for some sheep milk yogurt. It's thick. It's um, you know it's reminiscent of that Greek style like luxurious yogurt. So you're going to satisfy your creamy craving, but you're also going to get a loaded dose of probiotics. Excellent. And last but not least, a sour craving. Um, I don't know. You know, there's all sorts of taste buds going on on our tongue and sometimes every so often you might get a craving for something sour call me crazy but I do so what I do when I'm craving something sour actually is sauerkraut uh, why not end on a little bit of a bizarre note here because who craves sauerkraut maybe weird people like me maybe there's other people out there holler at me if you do but um, all kidding aside though sauerkraut is excellent uh, for digestive health. It's a fermented food, so it's going to bring healthy gut bacteria. It's going to improve our immunity, and it's it's yummy. It's delicious. You know, top it on your favorite burger. Um, have it on the side of a delicious grain bowl. I like to have a little bit uh, before I have a meal. It gets the digestive enzymes going. Excellent. So there's your, your sour craving fix, and... That's it. So you've now met how I meet my cravings and how I satisfy them. And I do hope that you will try one or two or three of them because we're not superhuman. We're going to have cravings. And rather than trying to deprive ourselves or indulge in something that's not too beneficial for our health, why don't you choose one of these, do good for your body, and all is good. I crave you. It's true, I crave you.